Hello there and welcome to another tutorial from AKCP. Today we're going to be having a look at the DC voltage sensor inside of the Security Probe web interface. So let's jump right in and get started. You can see that on port 2 we have our digital voltmeter, so we will go right ahead and click that icon. And this brings us to our uh, sensor setting page. Uh, now at present we have our uh, basic settings, uh, we have the very familiar notification thresholds bar which displays uh, our high critical, high warning, low warning and low critical and you can see that we have a current 6.6 .6 volt readout uh, above the black triangle. Um, as always you can adjust these notification thresholds by either adjusting uh, these blue arrows left and right or inputting the value in the uh, fields below. Below that you can see we have our current reading of 6.6 .6 volt, volts, we have the raw analog reading uh, and then below the raw analog reading we have our status which at the moment is low warning so let's just uh, adjust these slide bars here and uh, hit save just so we go into a normal status okay and now let's go and have a look at the advanced mode okay so now in the advanced mode we have our type of scale which you can set to either absolute or a percentage of the full scale you can uh, choose uh, what units you would like to display. At the moment we've got it set to volts. Uh, below that you have the uh, selected, sca uh, selected scale. This is the jumper uh, on your DC voltmeter. Uh, at the moment we've got it set to 20. Uh, below that we have the rearm value. Again this is exactly the same. Uh, rearm exactly is how it works with all the other sensors. Below the rearm we have the data collection type. Uh, now this is for the graphing. Uh, you can set it to average, highest and lowest. Now below that we have the um, maximum scale of sensor in volts and you also have the base scale of sensor in volts. Uh, now this can be equal to or lower uh, what you've got the jumper set to. So at the moment we've got it set to 20 which means the max scale of the sensor in volts is 20 and you can have it lower but you can never have it higher. We also have the uh, how many volts at 20 volts. This um, this applies to exactly the same one above. Um, you cannot have it higher, you can have it equal to or lower. We also have the uh, graph option, uh, you can have that, you can toggle it on or toggle it off. And below we have the sensor URL, uh, so, uh, so again you can actually assign a website to this sensor. So let's just type in http colon slash slash www.akcp.com uh, and we'll assign that website. Uh, when you click on the website in the map window you can choose to open that link in a current window or in a new window so let's click new window below that we have the continuous time for the sensor to be in a new status before accepting the new status um, so for example if the sensor goes into a high critical we can type in here that it has to go into a high critical status for 10 seconds uh, before it accepts that status and displays the high critical warning you can also do the same for high warning, sensor normal, low warning, low critical and of course sensor error. Uh, so we'll just change that back to zero for now. And right at the bottom we have our enable calendar. Uh, if we just toggle this to on, we get the calendar that pops up at the bottom. Uh, here you can select the days in the week and the hours during the day in which you would like this sensor to report or not report. Uh, to actually activate that, just click any of these blue boxes <coughs> and they will turn grey. The grey boxes stand for do not report and the blue stand for report. Once you're happy with your settings then just go right ahead and click save. And we'll just wait for that page to load up. Okay, so there we are. Uh, that's the uh, DC voltage sensor. Uh, nice simple one, not too difficult. I hope you found this useful. <laughs> 